have I got? Uh, grab a complete napkin. Welcome, everybody. I'm just grabbing one more thing I forgot to grab, which doesn't surprise me because I usually forget to grab a lot of things. Which one do we do? We do this one. Just grabbing one more paper napkin because I forgot to grab one. Welcome, everybody. How is everyone tonight? Just going to sit back down again. Sorry for the noise. Hopefully, you can all hear me. We'll wait for a little bit before so everyone can jump on. This is my delayed live from last night. It started raining cats and dogs last night and on my tin roof. It was so, so loud. It was ridiculous. I nearly got through a craft live session with um, all the lives planned that I had until the last one. Just going onto my phone to check I've got volume. Session. Yes, I can hear myself, so that's always good. The other day I started and I had something wrong with the microphone. So I decided that I would end last night's Craft Alive, the Great International Craft Show, with another Art Journal page to relax and end the night. And the weather decided it didn't want me to craft, which was good because I went and packed orders earlier than I expected to. So. Packed up all the orders last night. There's a couple of things I have to cut for orders and then they mostly should ship out tomorrow. So thank you for everyone. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone that placed orders. They should be in the mail in the next couple of days. Hi, Lisa. Oh, funny, it's happening now on my tin roof. Oh, it was so loud. It was heavy rain too. Usually light rain, we don't hear it on the tin roof, but it was heavy. And I thought I'm not going to compete with the tin roof. So I thought I'd delay it till tonight. So I thought in this art journal page, um, I would play with some paper napkins. Now, we sell paper napkins on the website, courtesy of my 13-year-old daughter. My daughter is homeschooled, and when COVID hit, I... Well, she's homeschooled anyway, so she was home before COVID hit. I decided that she needed to learn some business skills, and being 13, method in my madness, I thought if she started selling some paper napkins on my website, she might help me pick all my orders as well. She does. She's a lovely helper. Um, so she sells paper napkins. We usually or we sell them in sets of two of the same design. And they're on special until Thursday. So usually they're on sale for $0.75 cents for a pack of two. And at the moment, I think they're $0.56 cents for a pack of two. So they're good value. Hi, Margaret. How are you going? So these are a couple of the new release ones that we have got this month. What is my mouse doing? hovering over something it shouldn't and something flashed up on my screen i love these hot air balloons every time we go out shopping alexis says can we buy new napkins mum and she spots the most cute ones um so see this these are some of the ones we're going to use tonight not sure which one i'm going to use i'm going to start playing but i really want to use one of these hot air balloons so if you've never used napkins before when you purchase them they obviously come most of them have four images on each Oh, sorry, an image on each panel, so you get four, for example, on one napkin, or sometimes it's an overall image. So what you need to do is you need to split the napkin, because they're either a two or a three ply, and basically it means two or three layers. So what I tend to do is just come to one corner, and you can sort of gently flick it between your fingers till some of the layers come apart, and then you can grab them. Ah, oh, there we go. Some napkins come apart a lot easier than others. So you just go to one corner and gently pull. This particular napkin only has two plies, so two layers. It has the printed layer. These white ones I keep and I use them in other ways in my art. And then we have just the printed top. Now some napkins you need to remove a second layer. The way I check to see if we um, need to remove a second layer, I just got to grab something. I grab something with text on it. This is just some stamps that I was playing around with. Hi Susan, how are you going? And if you lay your napkin over, you should be able to read the text. Now, I can read the text because this is back to one layer. If I lay this one over, and then I lay this one over the top, I don't know whether you'll be able to pick it up, but you can just barely see the text. 
Um, so some more um, nicer napkins or <laughs> um, some napkins have three layers so you've got to remove two white ones on the back. Um, most of them now have only got two plies so they're only two layers. So that's how we remove the backing from a napkin. Get rid of that. I've got that much stuff around my desk I need to clean up. So there's a few ways to use a napkin. You can glue them directly on your page or you can iron them to a piece of paper. I like to iron them to a piece of paper if I'm going to use them as a focal image. So obviously this one I'm going to use as a focal image today. If you've not seen the ironing technique, um, I have a couple of videos I've done on my YouTube channel that um, that show you how to do it. Basically you make a sandwich. You start with a piece of baking paper, um, as in what you bake biscuits and cookies on, just to protect your surface. You put your cardstock down. You put a layer of glad wrap, glad bake, uh, sorry, glad wrap or cling wrap, whatever you call it. That's going to act as your glue because it's going to melt and glue the napkin down. You put your napkin face up and then I put another piece of baking paper on top just to protect my iron from getting plastic all over it. And then you heat it up for about 30 seconds to a minute. And as you can see, this napkin is now stuck to this piece of paper. So now I have a pattern piece of paper I can use in my art. So if I'm using the napkins as a focal image, I will not all the time, but I will most of the time glue them to a white sheet of paper. You can also glue them to a craft piece of paper. You can glue them to a text piece of paper and you'll have some text going through. So you can experiment with different sorts of paper you want to glue it on. Just bear in mind if it's a dark piece of paper, your image will become dull. Then we use these napkins more as in a background element and we're going to glue those directly to our page. So I've grabbed a couple. I was being indecisive. I don't know what one I'll use, but we'll do that. So these are going to be our focal image, so I'm going to pop those away for a moment. When I iron um, napkins, I usually do a whole bunch because then I don't have to get my iron out. So if I'm getting my iron out to do one thing, um, we've also got that cat too, so we're going to use something today. Um, it's good to iron a few to have a little stash sitting there. So I'm going to work on some watercolour paper today. I think this is about 300 GSM watercolour paper. So any mixed media or any art journaling you want to work on like a substantial piece of paper. You don't want to work on like photocopy paper. This one has a rough side and a smooth side. I'll just turn over to the smooth side. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is glue down some napkin fragments and I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to take the backing off this one. So napkins become very translucent when you glue them down. So any bit that hasn't got pattern on it almost disappears. Oh, I can. I need new fingernails. Oh, just got it. Should have taken that one off before I started. So all I'm going to do is tear the napkin into pieces and we're going to glue it down. Now, if there's a particular pattern you want out of your napkin, you can actually grab a wet paintbrush and trace around it and pull it out. But I just want sort of bits. And this is an overall pattern, so I don't need to do that. So because I'm gluing this down on a white surface, it's going to stay really white, the colours. Um, I was just looking to see if I had my glue. I've got a little tray of stuff that I threw all together that I might use today or tonight. So to glue napkins down, you want a fairly liquid glue. This is a multi-matte medium. This is a bit thicker than I usually use, but it still works. Usually I like a more runny glue, like an acrylic medium. Why the smooth side of the watercolour paper? Just because I don't like the bumpiness of the textured side. It laid a bit more texture into my project. And this particular time, I just want to use the smooth side of it. So no particular reason, just I want to use the smooth side. There's no reason why you can't use the rough, rough side. This is what we call a cold press watercolour paper. So it has slight texture on one side, which is great with your watercolouring paints and stuff. But I don't particularly like the... Um, I don't even know whether you'll be able to see it. It's not that textured, but it is a little, little bumpy. Now my lid's glued on. So this is more like a gel. This dries clear. So I'm just going to use a um, silicon spatula to apply my glue. 
I like to use the spatula because then it doesn't glue goop up my paintbrushes. So I'm just going to put a thin layer where I want to put my napkin, sit my napkin over the top and just gently go over the top to seal it in. This is going to do two things. It's going to stick our napkin down and it's also going to seal it and put sort of a waterproof layer over the top. So when we come in with paints, if I accidentally put it in the wrong spot, I can um, remove it. So you just want to be fairly careful when you're going over the top because the napkins are quite fragile, they can tear quite easily. That's why I like to iron my focal images onto pieces of white paper just to make them a bit more stable to use. So I'm sort of sort of wanting to build a sort of a, a diagonal stripe starting at the top, right hand coming down to the left hand, but I don't want it to be straight. So it's and I want to leave a bit of white space up and down here, I think. Well, that's the plan at the moment. We'll see what happens. Sometimes I don't have a sort of a plan when I start art journaling. I know I want to use those focal images and these napkins. Apart from that, I sort of just make it up as I go along. There's really no right and wrong way to art journal, which is good. As if you've guidelines to follow, like drawing layers in between and um, doing things like that, but there's really no right and wrong way. Why is my whip? My wristwatch keeps buzzing for some reason. It's probably my daughter texting me from the bedroom and asking for something. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've got enough napkin down, just putting them in three spots and I've got some small, let's just stick this small bit on as well. So I'm going to put those aside, trying to move stuff off my desk when I'm done. So I'm just going to give that a quick dry, it won't take long, my heat tool is not that loud. Oh, but it helps if it's plugged in. I have got 10 sockets near my computer and I still don't have enough to have everything plugged in. Oh, I don't know. And of course my heat tool is buried under everything else. So it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough to move on. So now I'm going to add some paints over it and around it. I'm going to use Delusions paints because they're sitting right in front of me. Let's pick out some colours. Let me grab my focal image back in and decide which one we're going to use. Do I want to use the spots or do I want to use the flowers? I think I want to use the spots. I may change my mind later. Whoops. I just hit my keyboard and... My screen's all gone. He would he let me pick, fix all that. Hi Wendy, how are you going? So I'm going to sort of pick colours that are in here and in my background. So that would be a good one to do. So this one is Strawberry Daiquiri. So that's a nice fluoro pink. So what else are we going to put with it? We're going to put with it. This one's sort of in here, uh, Periwinkle Blue. Usually I'll stick to warm and cool colours, but tonight I'm just going to play with rainbows. <laughs> um, I want a yellowy orange. What about some squeezed orange and maybe the green in there? Because I've got green in my hand. Yeah, there's some green in there, so we're going to use those ones. And the green is polished jade. So I'm just going to do some finger painting. I can do it with a brush, but I'm sort of really into finger painting at the moment and like the feel of the paint on my fingers. So I'm just going to start with my lightest one and just sort of put it in three spots, just building up. Oops, didn't really want to do that. Just building up layers of colour and bits of texture. So these paints from Delusions are quite transparent. Um, I didn't 
want to drop all that there. I'll put another colour there in a minute. Um, so you can see the napkin when I do it quite um, thin, you can see the napkin colours through it. If I did this with a thicker, more opaque paint, you probably wouldn't see it. Just sort of adding it in three spots. I'm going to join all these three spots up in a minute with the colours. Because I am using all sorts of colours, I am going to sort of give them a bit of a dry in between. Now I'm just having fun putting paint down. I don't have to be totally dry, but I sort of don't want my colours to mix. moment's looking like a bit of a hot mess but I'm sure it will come together. I'll just try to get the baby wipe out and of course six want to come out and I want one. So art journaling for me is more about taking time out of my day and sitting here and playing as opposed to trying to make a masterpiece. Let's not do the blue yet, because if the blue and orange mix, we're going to make brown, which is not what we're going to do. We're going to put some of this strawberry, what did I say it was? Strawberry daiquiri. This is one of the cocktail colours, so it's more um, fluorescent and more transparent than the others. I think she has six cocktail colours out. So I'm sort of working that napkin in and coming over it with the paint. I do want to leave some of it not got paint over it, I think, until I change my mind in a minute. So I'm just going to bring some blue into it. too much. Bring some of the glue down here. So I'm going to do some stenciling a minute on top of these colours within the same four colours that I'm using. I forget this paint is so runny when I put it out and I only need a small amount. Just put it on my scrap paper at the back of me. So I want to connect this to the top with this colour. So it's just my work's not just floating in the middle of the page. And I probably want to connect it with that same colour down here. Maybe on my mouse to scroll my comments. For some reason they don't scroll when new ones come up. I don't know what setting I've got wrong on my computer. And every time I go to hit my mouse, my whole screen disappears. Hi Bronnie, how are you going? At the moment it's looking like a bit of a hot mess, but we'll get there. I want to bring a bit of green into it, and then I'm going to do some stenciling. I don't have blue all over my fingers. So I just want a little bit of green. That's probably enough for how just to connect these white bits here. So this one's a bit more of an abstract, which is a bit different for me. I did an abstract for the last class I did at Craft Alive um, at the weekend and I quite enjoyed it. So I thought, oh, I might do a more of an abstracty one. a bit too much there. So the advantage of if I put too much paint there, the advantage of the gel medium sealing the napkin is I can wipe it off, which is really cool. If the napkin wasn't didn't have that gel medium over the top of it, 
it would soak into the napkin and I wouldn't be able to um, wipe it off when I make a mistake. So I'm going to grab a couple of my stencils. I've got this little one which I thought would probably work and this one. What else did I grab? I also grabbed this Colour Blast one with a hot air balloon on it. I don't know whether I'll use that one yet. Might use the saying off it. We'll see. So I'm going to use some of the same colours and tone down some of the bright colours I've got. So I'm going to grab a makeup sponge when I'm sponging and I'm just deciding where I'm going to put what colour. I might go and put some blue over that orange. So when I'm putting paint through a stencil, especially because this is a bit more of a runny paint, I like to use a makeup sponge and I dip it in my paint, but then I don't go directly to my stencil. See how I've got a big blob on it? What you want to do is tap off onto some scrap paper or a paint palette. Probably should use a paint palette. Um, until it's worked into the sponge. So it looks like you've got none left, but assure me there is plenty there. And then we're just going to go over the orange and this will give you a better stenciling look and hopefully it won't goop up underneath. I just want to bring that out into the white. So up here I'm going to go over the blue as well. It'll be quite subtle. Oh, I didn't have enough in my sponge. And I'm going to come down into the green and try to connect the colours. And I'm going to put a little bit up here. Coming off the blue, need some more paint. I'm just putting the paint straight out on my drop paper. It's just some, um, every time we go to the supermarket, my daughter loves Cabana. So we end up with lots of this paper that the meat's wrapped in, and I keep it and use it for my, um, for my desk, and then I can throw paint and all sorts of things on it. I just noticed I've got a big splob of green there. I didn't do anything with Put some more green down here. I think I am done with the blue at the moment. I wonder if I've got white over here. I wonder if I grabbed any sort of white. That would be handy. No, I've probably got every colour but that's light lavender and none of my other stuff is in reach so we'll make do with what we've got actually the light lavender might work I just want to lighten up these blue areas usually I wouldn't bring another colour into it but oh what's in this box over here I've moved a couple more boxes to my no they're all sprays and of course they're the wrong colour sitting in that box. Not. No, they're even worse colours. We'll go with this light mode. <laughs> this will work. I just want to lighten up these darker areas. I'm just trying to set up my desk so I have everything within reach. So before I live or before I film a video, it's not so bad with a video, I can pause you and go find what I want. Um, so I can have everything within reach but I haven't set up my desk properly yet. Ah, there we go. Liking that a little. I'll lighten it up a bit. So now we might give that a bit of a dry off. I might fussy cut my focal image out and see where that's going to go and then see what else I want to add. 
So if you try to fussy cut a napkin without sort of glad wrap gluing it to the paper, which I've done with this one, it it's really thin and if I went and just glued this napkin straight on the top of all this dark colour, all the dark colours would show through and you'd lose a lot of the detail. I'm going to leave a smidgen of white around my dots. Should have fussy cut this before I turn the camera on but it won't take me a second. So all the techniques that I'm using with the napkins, how to glue them down and how to stick them to the white cardstock with the iron-on method, you can use that with any of the translucent papers on the market, any of the rice papers, any of the um, uh, collage papers, any of those thin semi-translucent um, papers. You can use all these techniques with this as well. Because sometimes they're a bit daunting. You see them in the shops and they look beautiful and it's like, how do I use them? is looking like I want it I'm wondering if I want to do a bit more stenciling in in what actually I probably want to use I threw a white paint pen up here let's use our rainbow stencil I'm just going to dry this a bit to make sure it's totally dry before I bring my paint pen in Let's put some rainbows in the background. I'm actually liking all the colours with the hot air balloon. So let's put one in here. And I apologise if my head comes into view. For any of my new subscribers or new people watching my channel, we've had a bunch of new people like and follow out my Facebook page, which is fantastic. I do have low vision, so when I come to do pen work or anything like this that's close, unfortunately my head needs to be quite close to what I'm doing. Oh, I don't think my head's getting in frame yet. So I'm just drawing around and sort of I will come back and colour them in a bit more. So I just want the basic shape at the moment with a Posca paint pen. Hopefully my Posca paint pen will behave. I'm not wanting to do the entire stencil. I'm just wanting to do a few here and there. Hopefully you can't hear the dogs barking. The dogs are going mad in the neighbourhood at the moment. I like to do things in threes. So let's put one over here and I'm going to run it into the white. Sorry we have trouble playing this video. Oh, does it mean I'm still live? Can someone pop up a comment? My computer's just decided to have a hissy fit. Or a thumbs up to know that I'm still live. Let me check on my phone. How do I do that? Facebook. I usually can see the screen on my computer and it's decided to do this thing again which oops no it looks like oh, there's a bit of a delay but it looks like we're still going we'll persist for a minute oh there's a comment come up so we must be still going for some reason I've lost the vision on my computer Silly computer. It didn't play up all weekend and now it decides to play up. I hate technology lately. And it hates me. Whoops. So I'm just going to do three of these rainbows here and I'm going to take... So just doing a rough outline with my stencil there and then I'm going to come back in a colour... colour in the rainbow bits. Come on, white pen. Be nice tonight. Posca pens and I have an interesting relationship. They hate me as well as technology. I'm still alive. Oh, thank you. Missed the beginning. I've had to watch it again later. <laughs> it does keep pausing, but it's fine. Oh, the pausing might be the internet. Um, hopefully, it stops doing that. I thought 7 o'clock would be a good time to do one, but maybe everyone's on the internet. 
I didn't have any trouble at the weekend and now I'm going to do a live. See, technology just hates me. Hopefully it's not pausing and hopefully it's not all pixelated. If it's all pixelated, I might have to stop it and start again. So I'm just colouring in the rainbows. Now it looks pretty good on my phone. It looks pretty good on my phone at the moment. I'm hoping to start doing regular lives once a week. I was doing them a bit last year and this year has just been, ugh, busy, busy, busy. Um, looking at doing a regular live project every Thursday night about 8pm. The only time I won't do it is if we're away at a show. We do have some shows coming up. We've got Craft Alive and Bendigo coming up in June. We've got Wodonga in July. If I am not here on a Thursday, I will pop in probably on a Wednesday and do my live instead. Um, and one week it might be an art journal page, the next week it might be a scrapbook page, the next week it might be just making something with one of my products. Depends what I come up with. If you have any products you want me to pick a, particularly play with, you can ask me or send me a request. Give me some ideas. Sometimes I look at my products and go, how many times can I use a stencil or how many times can I colour a bit of chipboard? So feel free to um, just draw in the connecting lines. Hi Catherine, how are you going? Just catching up on comments. We'll miss you at Pakenham. Yeah, unfortunately, Lisa, we can't do Pakenham. I work a lot with, a um, few of you um, know who I work with because <laughs> I recognise your names. I work a lot with Hillbilly Scrapping and from Swan Hill and she does a huge retreat in Ichuka Moama in, um, in May. And we have 60 ladies come to Ichuka Moama for the three-day weekend or four days. Sometimes it's four days. And unfortunately, Pakenham is just too close to that show. We are doing Geelong picture to page. If you need Geelong, we're just booking that one. That reminds me, I've got to go do that paperwork. We are excitingly doing, and hopefully it goes ahead this year, um, hopefully COVID behaves itself. We are doing, and I've just booked in for Paperific this year. I have done paperific for the past, oh, too many years, 10 years maybe. And Hillbilly Scrapping are going to join us at paperific this year, so that will be exciting. We will be at Sandown this year as well with Picture to Page. So we've got a busy full calendar, and I believe that wraps up our what shows we're doing. I think we've got five big ones left. And then Hillbilly Scrapping and I do virtual retreats as well. And she does three of her in-person retreats at Ichuka Moama every year. So our calendar is just chockers lately. It's fun trying to fit everything in and then have some time at home when I'm not away. Yes, I love Sandown last year. Sandown has lots of space, which is really good. Um... I love, don't get me wrong, I love Paperific, but Paperific is very nuts and very busy. Um, I sort of prefer the slower shows or the quieter shows where I can chat to people and explain more products, explain more about things. Um, and we run classes at all those events. Paperific will be doing some free make and take mini projects um, on our stand. Basically ours are like a play with the product. So we select a different product. We'll probably have about six running across the three different days. Different products, you just get to have a little bit of play with and make a little mini project for free. All the other events we do, um, bigger, more involved classes, and you can book into those prior to the event. So I was up at Hillbilly Scrapping a few weeks ago, and we're planning even down to Sandown. We're coming up with all these ideas, and we'll go, oh, that'll be a good one for Sandown, that'll be a good one for Geelong. Actually, tonight I've got to make a couple of class samples for Bendigo and Wodonga. Come on, white pen. Be nice to me. So I'm just using my stenciling as a guide, and if I get a bit weak, come on, pen. Can't wait for the virtual cast run. Yeah, the virtual is going to be so much fun. Oh, did you catch up on Marlene last night? She released her new 
and I'm probably going to butcher the name. Um, so, so fish decated range, some of her fish and her creation, uh, and her new range that's going to be released at the end of the month. It's like, oh, I need it all. So having Art by Marlene at our virtual event is going to be fantastic. Hoping I've got time to sit and do her class. In saying that, I haven't done the classes from the other instructors from the last virtuals we did last year. Okay. I think I'm liking that. Where's my balloon gone again? Yes, Geelong will be lots of fun. I've got to sit down, and that's July as well. Oh, I've got to sit down and do those. I should have watched where I was putting my rainbow, shouldn't I? Well, maybe I'll do this more down. Ah, maybe I'll sit that up there. No, I want it more down here. Now I want to do some stamping, so I'm just going to grab my drawer of ink. I forgot to grab my ink pads before I sat down. Whoops, there's my stamp and there's my stamp. So I want to do some bit of textury inking. What colour? Do I want to go black? I don't really have any black in there. I don't want to go black. Maybe pink? No. Maybe, oh that blue might look good. Maybe, oh maybe that colour. And a green, maybe. I don't think I have an aqua green. Never have the right colour ink. Oh no, I think that's too dark. Anything. I'm being indecisive now. And you're never going to stop working at this rate. Is that because you have to pay for your scrapbooking habit, Bronnie? <laughs> yes I don't think I was actually talking to a neighbour the other day that's just retired and I worked out I've got too many years to go before I retire I'm only in my early 40s so I've got yes way too many years before I retire but I have lots of scrapbooking stuff to play with when I retire it doesn't stop me from shopping <laughs> So I'm just going to put some dots. I'm not mounting my stamp on a block just so I can have, I don't want to get like the whole rectangle stamped. So I'm just sort of pushing some, pushing it down just to get some blobs of dots. Blobs of dots. Real technical today. So I want to sort of bring the stamping out into the white to connect it. And if I stamp it on a colour where it's not really seen, I'm not really concerned that you can't see a lot of it. It's sort of there in little bits. Um... I'm going to lighten these up somehow. But I don't think stamping will do that. Okay, let's do... We've done some dots. I tend to clean up all my stamps and paint on this drop paper and it's getting really, really pretty. And then when it gets to... <laughs> when it gets all this prettiness, I take it off and then it becomes a collage paper for um, when I need it. Shane says, do you need it? No, you just want it. It's like, I don't need any more supplies. I could craft quite happily for several uh, years without buying new stuff, but new stuff is always fun. Hillbilly Scrapping always gets new stuff in, and it's like, oh, stop getting it all in because I just want it all. I've got my eye on some Dina Wakely stamps at the moment. Um, have I used the ones I bought um, last year? Of course not. I just want the new ones. I want the new alphabet. That would look really, really cool. So this one's just a text stamp. And it's just got some little icons on it. This is a really, really old primer stamp. So I'm using some of my old stuff up. Um, so this is a really old primer one. But just want to do some stamping in the orange bits. Where's some more orange bits we can stamp in? I sort of like to stamp the same thing in the same colour, in the same blobs of colour, if that makes sense. So I've got all these orange bits, so I'm going to stamp in this pink with the script. And then I may stamp um, in another colour. Um, like in the blue, I'll put the same sort of pattern in the blue sometimes to give it a bit of consistency. 
these dark areas I don't like what am I going to do I wonder if that would work hmm oh that might work how can I do that without making a mess um <laughs> I had to do it without making a mess oh god <laughs> Joanne yes you do need it you definitely do need it it's like when you're at the supermarket and you go in for three things and you end up spending $80. Like, do you need it all? Of course you do. Isn't there a saying like, she who dies with the most scrapbooking supplies wins? <laughs> I just need someone to come and organise all my supplies. I keep losing stuff. I'm going to... What are we going to do with this? I've just got a Distress Oxide Spray Speckled Egg, which is really, really light. So I'm just wondering how I can get it on here without making a mess. Because I don't want to spray it. Let's see if I can stamp some dots. What can I spray it onto? That's plastic. Ha! Huh, back of the packaging. This works. Maybe I should get some plastic pellets to work one day. I find I don't use a lot of sprays as a spray because I don't like the sprayed effect. But I like the inky effect. This may go just horribly wrong in a minute. I just want to try it up here. Oh, actually, no, it's not going to go horribly wrong for once. Oh, that's really what I wanted up there. So this is Speckled Egg Distress Oxide, and it's just going to lighten that darker area up. So I'm just going to use it like an ink. So I've just sprayed it on the plastic and just putting my stamp into it. Ah, that's what I needed. Just needed some lightening of that blue liking that a bit more so it's hard to know if I'm staying in shot because I've lost the view on my computer and I have to wait for the um, uh, wait for the I'll think of it in a minute the delay that I'm looking at on my phone so I apologize if I go out of shot just trying to clean that up where's that baby wipe so this is coming together In like going to the supermarket we need to spend a hundred dollars today <laughs> we only need bread and milk um yeah well i thought i wasn't um because of my low vision i don't drive so i do a woolworths delivery usually once a week and it's minimum of a hundred dollars so i usually got to spend a hundred dollars and usually a few things sneak into the cart that we don't really need but i got to spend a hundred dollars so i don't pay the 15 dollars delivery it's probably better to pay the 15 dollars delivery method in my madness um and this week I thought, right, now I'm only going to be good. We only need a few things. I will just whip down to, we've got an IGA or an Audi within about a 15-minute walk. So usually I just walk down there and grab a few things. But Cordial is now on special that my daughter drinks. So it looks like we'll be doing a Woolworths order after all. <laughs> uh, okay, now I want to bring, I'm wondering if I want to bring black into it because... I don't have any black in. Actually, I might bring some black into it. I threw a black pen up in here. Sorry, I'm just going to stand up so I can see where I put my... Sure, I threw a black pen up into here. Ah, oh, there it is. It's hiding. Now, what am I going to do now? Most of the time, I don't know what I'm going to do until I sort of do it. And then sometimes I regret it. What I might do is do some outlining on the paper napkin on the squares sometimes I do things on my art journal pages and then I regret it five seconds later which may be this instant but it sounded good in my head at the time <laughs> actually I'm not like I'm not not hating it which is good So just roughly drawing around. I know most of the napkin has sort of lost, we've lost most of it, but you can sort of see a little bit in the background, which is good. I could sit here and do detailed line work all night. It calms my brain drawing around things and adding bits of detail.
Now I might just do some mark making just in spots just to bring a bit more black into places. Now <laughs> you know you've got chocolate biscuits and Pringles. Oh. Do you want to all hear a funny story? My daughter's been saving some Easter eggs in the fridge. And I got really desperate for chocolate at the weekend. She's got these two big Easter bunnies I bought her from Easter. She hasn't eaten them yet. And she was away at her dad's at the weekend and I was staring in the fridge. And I'm going, oh, I could do with some chocolate. And I couldn't be bothered walking 15 minutes down the shops to get any. The problem was I couldn't eat the Easter bunny and then replace it because no one sells Easter bunnies anymore. She had like a chocolate bar in the fridge. I could have snuck down before she got home and eaten the chocolate bar. So she came home today and she decided she wanted to open it and we're putting a flat pack together. So I grabbed the hammer and, and smashed the bunny and she wasn't really impressed. She sort of hit it once and it didn't say, it didn't break open so I smashed it with the hammer. We had chocolate go everywhere. We needed chocolate after we tried to put this flat pack together with very bad instructions. We've got another one for her bedroom to do tomorrow. That should be fun. At least we've done it once, so we won't stick the wrong parts in the wrong spot, hopefully tomorrow again. Just adding some little crosses with mark making, just because I could. While I've got the black pen in my hand, I might do a bit of a squiggly border. And, oh wow, have I been going for an hour? Gee, time flies when you sit down and play. That hour went really, really quickly. Nearly done. So any suggestions for my live this Thursday night? Do you want to see a scrapbook page or do you want to see... Oh, please don't say card making. No. <laughs> I'm getting better at card making. It's not, it's not what I, comes naturally to me. Give me small things and I don't like it but I am trying this year to work in different sizes. I much prefer to work in bigger art journals or things. But I am getting more confident in card making. Just gonna put some loops on here for no particular reason, just because I felt like it. I'll have to come up with some project for Thursday. Hi Desiree, how are you going? Just doing some, I don't know why, some roundy things. I just decided I've got round shapes in my balloon but I've got no sort of curvy shapes on my page so I thought why not just do some wavy looking roundy things I find I'm sort of comfortable making art journal pages up as I go along but cards are a bit harder for me I have to sort of have a bit of an idea of where I'm going oh thanks Bronnie it's coming there I was wondering about 20 minutes in I thought it looked like a dog's breakfast <laughs> but it is coming together and it's amazing how much that these little bits of detailing and outlining actually make the page come from okay to beautiful. So we've got our hot air balloon. Now I just want to do a title. Let me have a quick look. I've got these on my desk and I cracked into them at the weekend. Let's see if I can add anything else. These are the new Art by Marlene or fairly new paper elements from her. I think this is her world collection, My World or something. I got these from Hillbilly Scrapping the other day when I was up there. Just because I'm looking for some clouds or something. So I know I had oh, cows. I could put a cow in the hot air balloon. Looking for some, ooh, maybe a rainbowy cloud. Maybe a rainbow. So I love these die cut stacks. Oh, I can't wait. I saw a new die cut stack last night and it's like, oh, I'm going to have to put that on my wish list. I've actually been um, designed a class with one of her die cut sets for our virtual retreat we've got coming up in the middle of May. That was fun. 
I want. Maybe down there, maybe. Live video has been interrupted. Oh! It should resume shortly. Why has it been paused? Why has... Oh, this computer hates me. I wonder if it's going to come back. Oh, it looks like I'm back. It says it paused. So hang on, I'm going to bring that up. And hopefully we're still going. My phone just said it was paused and I don't know what it did. But it looks like I'm back up and running. I'm nearly finished so you girls can all go back to doing whatever you do on a Monday night. Just looking for some clouds or something in here. I know there was clouds in one of the books. Ooh, can't wait to use these a lot more. I started using them for the weekend because they were just in arm's reach. Did I get three sheets of that page? No, just my imagination. Oh, do we need a second hot air balloon? Or oh, maybe we need a second hot air balloon. I think we need some white clouds to bring some more white into it. I love that these are die cut, so you don't have to fussy cut them. I don't mind fussy cutting, but sometimes it's nice to have stuff that is quite easy. No, it looks like it's still going. Cow in the balloon. Oh, let's see if the cow can fit in the balloon. Hopefully he's not too big. Let's go back and find the cow. I think he was at the front. I love doing silly things like that. Why not? Cow in the balloon. We might be able to cut the balloon and make him fit. Ooh. Let's pop the little cow out. And... Well, I think I'm going to do a bit of surgery on my balloon. Hmm. Maybe. And. Okay. That's not the bit of cardstock I want. This bit of cardstock I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some surgery to the basket of the balloon because it's too close to the balloon for the cow to fit in. And then I'm going to put this here. Oh. Well, I don't... Do I need that? I thought I needed to extend a bit, but here we go. Cow, and then... I've got a bit of white over here I'll get rid of. Actually, I need a bit of white. So I'm going to glue. Do I have glue here? Know what's going on with the internet tonight maybe it's the um the wind and the, the storm that we're supposed to have blow through tomorrow now i've got to wait for me glue that pops love it yeah i'm going to extend this and put a little bit of white because if i don't he'll get lost so i'm just going to glue my balloon basket onto here then I can draw the string lines behind him. Come on, glue. I need to go get some more 450 glue because it's down to about a quarter and it takes so long to get up the tip to use it and it annoys me. I've got a whole list of stuff I need from Hillbilly Scrapping when I go up there for the virtual retreat. I need glue and I need double-sided tape. I'm running out of everything. just means I'm doing too much crafting. Now I want to sort of bring up there, stick the cow on, somehow stick the cow like that, and stick that like that, and then I can strip this 
redraw the strings. Maybe you want the cow's head like that. Okay, let's stick this on now with the same glue because I've got it working. That's a great thing about art journaling is your pages can be unrealistic as anything. If I was here um, crafting with my daughter, she'd tell me that the cow looks horrible in the balloon and why would cows be in balloons? Because she likes to do everything that's um, that looks realistic. But I like to do lots of fun different things. It's fun to um, to make your pages look really unrealistic. Come on, glue, you are really starting to annoy me. Where are we going to stick that? About there. So then I'm going to stick this just under here and the cow just so he covers up the covers up the join that I've just put in. That we might take a bit more off. The cow's gone for a ride in the basket. Maybe that's a bit too long. Now I'm just being fussy. Just stick it down. <laughs> ah, there we go. I see I can be using these hot air balloon napkins a lot because I really love the design. Hopefully when we go back to that shop they have some different ones. They only had the two. There we go, we'll put him on a side. Now I'm going to take, that's the white pen, not that one, black pen. And I think I like these white clouds around, just gives it a bit more pop of white. So I'm just going to draw these lines in black. I'm going to have to do that one. There we go. What I also like to do is when I stick focal images down, hopefully there's no glue coming out, is, do I want to do that or not? Yes, I do. Is I usually like to draw around, except when I, ah, baby wipe, I missed. Great thing about drawing over paint with a paint pen, you can um, uh, wipe it off. So I'm just going to draw around. I do this to probably 90% of the images I stick down. It sort of just grounds it, except when you go wayward. And can't follow a line around. I see Diane Reevely do a lot of this. She draws around all her magazine collages and it just looks really good. Oops, nearly lost me clouds. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. My vision is bad for distance, but sometimes with this close up being so, getting some detail, I have to be quite close and I have to take my glasses off because my glasses only work for like distance. I probably need new glasses for close up, so let's do that. And I think we need a quote. I wonder if she have any quotes in this book. No. Let's have a look at the second one. That just sounded like something fell to the back of my desk. Um, that didn't sound good. Okay. Love yourself together. We are strong. No, none of those work. We might... Actually, what else do I have here? Oh, I have my delusions ones up here. Let's go for a delusions one. Um... Let's stick these clouds down and this rainbow down. And we'll find a really cool delusional, delusional, oh, delusions quote to go on it. Come on, glue. Okay, while I'm waiting for the glue, it wants to go upside down in my box. I will have a look for a quote now. Do I want a white one or a black one? I'll go with white. I love the bigger back chat stickers. They have some awesome sayings on them. I don't think there'll be one about a cow flying. Oh, the first one. You go, girl, and don't come back. Oh, that's perfect. I've got to stick that one on. 
sometimes I go through the whole pack and go oh there's not one that works but this one will work you go girl and don't oh come back um I might just stick it cut it there and don't So I'll stick my quote on, do a bit of outlining on my quote, and then my page is nearly done. This page is kind of cute. This one might be on a display to show. I usually work in altered books, and Hillbilly Scrapping, or Jen from, <laughs> I just call her Hillbilly around the house so my daughter knows who I'm talking about, um, has asked me to do pages on single sheets of paper so we can use them as display. So I've been liking working on, I'm going to stick this. Mm. Um, how about you go girl don't come back don't come back might be going down here you sure we'll not put this one here this one sure we'll not put it a bit close together I need to cut a bit off girl Actually, that might be fun to come on and do something I just had a thought one day and I'll let you know in advance I might come on and you guys can make all the decisions for me for my top right I just stuck it on bottom right hang on hang on Alexis might work better up here actually you're probably right Lisa actually I might do that one day I will one Monday I will come on and you guys can make all the decisions for my art journal page and then I won't have to think actually I'll like it up the top better that sounds like fun actually then I don't have to decide to do things looks like my teenager is wanting me if you heard someone talking in the background that would be my darling daughter Alexis just going to outline these because I like to outline the quotes just gives them a bit of more definition Definitely going to do that. I'm going to come on my night and make you ladies make all my decisions for me. Got to stick my rainbow on and then I'm done. Oh, I love how that's turned out. I was wondering halfway through if it was going to be a hot mess, but it's turned itself around. Thank you, thank you very much for coming and joining me on a Monday night. And I will be next live on Thursday night doing another project with something from my range. And might mix it up and do something different than a art journal page oh you sound like an elephant alexis do you want to come say hello to everyone look i used one of your napkins what do you hang on alexis what do you think of mother's page it's still working what do you oh it's pretty are you just saying that because i'm still live i didn't get that or that <laughs> don't you love teenagers if you want an honest opinion, don't show your pages to teenagers. It's a cow. Someone suggested to put a cow in the hot air balloon. Told you my daughter wouldn't get it. <laughs> I'm going to stick my rainbow on. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. Snow wants to run. Oh, the bunnies want to run, do they? Oh, okay. I've got to go and give these bunnies their exercise for the day and the chance to chew on things throughout my house. Yay. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you Thursday night at 7 o'clock, and we'll do something, another project. Bye for now. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Joanne. You love it. Cool. Thanks, everyone. I will pop some close-up pictures and a picture of it on the Facebook page as well um, while I'm supervising these bunnies running around my house. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great evening.